Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple outputs in Addict to Drums 2 and Logic Pro on your Mac. This will allow you to have a configuration for each independent kit piece on a different channel so you can for example add a compressor on a kick, a different compressor on a snare, maybe a reverb and maybe another different effect on, this, on the hi-hats and so on. So let's jump straight to the Mac and see how it works. So first of all, make sure you have Addict to Drums loaded as a software instrument. So simply go to uh, add a new track here and choose software instruments and then choose Addict to Drums for, um, for the menu. So let's scroll down here to Excellent Audio and Addict to Drums 2. Of course, you need to make sure to load Addict to Drums as a multi-out plugin, not simply stereo, of course, otherwise this is not going to work. This will add 10 additional mono tracks for the different instruments, plus an additional 4 stereo tracks for overheads, room mics, effects, bass, and so on. So let's choose this, Addict to Drums 2, and Multi Outputs. And then click Create. So once you have Addict to Drums loaded, let's enable the Multi Outputs. So simply go to the top of the Addict to Drums menu here, and click on any other tab except Explore. So in the Explore, you only have the, the complete kit. And if you go to Kit or Edit or FX, you can see the lower part of the screen, which has the multi-output option. And so you simply click here to enable separate outs for each individual kit piece. So for the kick, for the snare, you have the option for every single kit piece. So these are the 10 mono outputs that you will have. And then these are the additional four uh, stereo effects. So overheads, rooms, and bus, and sound effects, and the master, of course. And there are different options when you want to add uh, separate outputs. So first of all, you do, not, you do not want to select the master, which is the default. So everything will be sent to the master. You can have different options. You see here we have separate out pre-fader or pre-fader plus master, and then we have separate outputs for post-fader and plus master. Uh, and the, what what the plus master means, and is then when you route a kit piece to a separate output, it will normally bypass the master channel, so you will not go to the master channel. However, there are times when you maybe want to send specific sound independently without altering the main attitude to drum mix. For example, you might want to create a submix for certain elements externally, but through the, the kick to a separate output, so you will have to use the master. And the second option is pre-fader or post-fader. And the key difference here with pre-fader, all the signals are sent out at unity uni gain. So the each channel in addictive drums and this volume setting doesn't impact the level in the separate outputs. Otherwise, post fader, the, the level of the fader will impact the volume that is sent out to Logic. And pre fader is ideal if you want to mix the kit entirely using outside of AD. Uh, so you can select any preset without affecting the levels sent out to the external mix setup. So let's add all the different kit pieces to separate out using post fader in this example. And now that we have routed each drum sound to different outputs in Addict to Drums, let's configure Logic to recognize these outputs. So go back to Logic and simply go to the mixer. So you can simply click on the X uh, on the keyboard or just view mixer like here. And you see that on the track, on the instrument track, we have a little plus and minus icon. And the plus icon will allow you to add, add the additional multi out kits in logic so you simply click okay additional to create additional tracks and the tracks will be one by one you see we have auxiliary one two three and four and so on and they correspond to the individual outputs in in addictive drums and when you do that it's a good idea to rename this track so for example let's keep this uh, the first one will be the kick the second one will be the snare and the first one, the third one will be the hi-hats, and so on, and so on, and so on. And in the manual explains all the different uh, drum sound to which output they go. 
and so this is, we are now ready to treat each channel separately. And now we are set. So now we can adjust the volume, the pan, the EQ, and add different effects like reverb or compression of each auxiliary track individually. And this gives you total control over your drum mix, allowing you to treat each drum as if it was recorded on its own microphone. So for example, let's say I want to have the snare a little bit on the left side and maybe the hi-hats on the right side. And let's play a different drum and see what happens in Logic. So as you can see, you have different channels for the kick, for the snare and for the hi-hats. So maybe I want to have a little bit less of the snare Maybe I want to solo the kick drum because I want to add additional EQ, maybe. So let's add an EQ for the kick. I want to emphasize some frequency. I want to add a little bit of low pass, maybe. Let's try to bring a little bit more of this. Okay, so something like this. And again, maybe I want to add the compression here. So let's add that compressor here. Let's just use the, the standard compressor in Logic. So let's lower the threshold, maybe. Okay, so it's highly compressed now. Okay. And I want to do the same maybe on the snare. So let's solve the snare first of all. And add the compressor again. Okay, let's lower the threshold. I want it to be a really compressed, so fast attack, and high reach. Okay, a little bit of makeup. And maybe now I want to add some reverb on the, on the snare. So let's go to the chroma verb. Okay, it's too much right now. Yeah, some little bit of reverb. So let's remove. So as you can see, you can decide which level you want each kit piece to have, each compressor, each panning, a hue, different hues for the different kit pieces. Yeah, and that's it. Now you know how to set up multiple autos in additional drums and using Logic. And with this setup, you will have full control over your drum mix, making it sound more polished and professional. Thanks for watching. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and see the video that I've posted here, which has the best kit, in my opinion, for additional drums too.